So what's the process of putting, of equipping these piercings? Just, well, put it on, really. To, to take uh, one damage. Samson pretty much, it pretty much goes through the process. Is just either piercing your eyelid or your or your not eyebrow. The lid, not the lid. That's all. Or your eyes. These uh, aren't exactly designed to be fashionable, but he says your best bet is is probably to just uh, pierce them into your eyebrow. Yes, I wouldn't <laughs> want them anywhere else. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> he, be he begins the process of. Uh, I love how fun Jutsu is now because they don't have eyebrows. He, he, uh, he pulls region. out. They have a. I mean, worst comes the worst, you get to be like, well, I want it in the very top part above my eye. Right here. Anyway, Samson pulls out some tools and he begins. Uh, Getting the piercings on you guys. That is, uh, not painful, but uncomfortable. So, Lucas, Bao, uh, Nadine, and Waffle all get one. Correct? I believe mm -hmm. so. Sounds about right. Yep. Everyone. Oh, it's just called a shadow like piercing. A greater shadow eye pierce. It's it's called it's it's pretty much just eye piercings. So it's just a shadow like, piercing in the eye slot, a greater so one. So just yeah, just a uh, shadow piercing eye greater. Everyone <laughs> is still in Chanan. They're getting doing last minute preparations to go into the shadow planes. So, and you've just woken up, man, which probably told you to get ready. And everyone is should be gathered around uh, the first floor where the Queen of Diamonds is waiting to teleport you all to the Shadow Plane. Okay. Anyways. So, Manwich, not Manwich, Samson finishes the piercings. And the Queen of Diamond goes, Are you all ready? Yes. Uh, yep. Yes. Good. Well, whether it was or not, I had to assume he'd push us through anyways. No. I am very persuasive. But... We're wasting time. Let us go. All of you, gather around me. The gathering around commences. The gathering around commences. All right, everyone gathers around, and she puts on she puts on this uh, she puts on a white glove with these little glowing 
green lines going across it. So he presses into the air, and it opens up. And on the other side, you see... Chang'an? It's Chang'an, but a lot less colory. More just grayed out and... Alright, well, once the portal's open, she begins stepping through. I would recommend you hurry through. And she steps through. Thanks for the present. Well, does everyone, everyone goes through? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. All right. That to the queen. All right. Well, when you step through, you find yourself in Chang'an, although everything seems a bit more upside downy. <laughs> oh shit! We're falling. No. <laughs> it is more. Everything is. Why are we on the roof for this? I would say more like you're on the 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 underside of the roof and the way out is the first floor above you. Oh, so it's literally upside down? Oh, so it's literally upside down? Literally the upside down. Oh. Okay. Okay, then. It's a mirror! Well, it's a mirror if you turned it upside down. <gasps> Why haven't figures this out? He sure figures it out. Wait, what was it? So, are we indoors or outdoors right now? You are in Chang'an. Well, at least the shadow plane, the shadow plane version of Chang'an. Is like, do we see? Is the same damage that has been done to the city is that still visible in this version? Um. In different in different ways, this version of Chang'an seems to be just in ruins, bits and pieces falling apart. Uh, but, but it no bullet doesn't holes. make no bullet holes. Well, we should fix that. Uh, anyways, <laughs> no. Wait a minute. How far shooting. is Rain from Chang'an? This... Are we gonna have to walk this? Yet no. Uh-huh. Is she saying that out loud? Well, I mean, now she can. Yes. Right. Pretty much everyone has confirmed that you... Well, uh, yeah. the Queen of Diamonds speaks up. Huh. We will be making our way directly to this world's version... This plane's version of rain. I hope you brought flying. Or some form of transportation. Teleporting directly there would be too risky. Well, nobody asked to teleport right there, genius. Just get us so we don't have to go fit. Please. She just gives you a look. I hope. I hope you brought comfortable shoes. I don't wear shoes. How unfortunate. She begins walking up the stairs. <laughs> Kabadoth follows directly behind her. So actually, if this is how the shadow plane is, did the adaptation do anything to help with maneuvering around this place? or? Um... I, I, I figure falling into the sky is a hell of a hazard. <laughs> well, there isn't exactly any like falling into the sky. It's just... The building uh, layout is flipped. Yeah. Oh, so the building is sitting on its head on the ground? Yeah. This is some crazy like... architects. Okay. The, li- the library is on the bottom floor now, basically. Instead of the top. Uh, okay. 
Walls are not floating. It, we're attached to the ground, but everything is upside down. Ryan, yes. where'd you come yeah, from? Yeah, I was, I was thinking the ground was upside down. No. Okay. I was considering that gimmick. That would be a very inconvenient gimmick. Well, then we really would have to fly. Yeah. Flight yeah is that, a that, thing. That's why I said that. Because I was thinking, yeah, no, you're going to have to grasp hundreds of miles with no landing spots. Anyways, the Queen of Diamonds and Kavadath are heading up. She, uh... Alright, well... Do you begin following? Mm-hmm. Alright. So you use the head up, and you see that, uh... You see there are a few of the... Odd creatures just kind of like, uh... Digging around through the rummid, uh, the, uh, the rubble. Some of them see you, give a hiss, and just scurry off. What do they look like? Hmm. Uh, can I do a knowledge planes to, see, to know what they look like? Sure. A knowledge planes. I do they look friendly? Not in the slightest, but they're not dealing with you right now. Oh. <laughs> Alright, uh... So... Uh, knowledge planes. These things are known as... Let me pull it up really quick. These are all shadows. <laughs> I should cast an, a spell on them to make them be attacked by their own shadow. Uh, they are, uh... They are fletchlings. Oh. So they're humanoids. Yeah, they're humanoids. They're very... They look a bit Disfigured, you would assume. They look a bit like Lily, does they? <laughs> Pretty much. Actually, they were. They look worse than you. Yeah. They look a bit uh, not intelligent and more barbaric. Like they said, they see you. They just like hiss and scurry off. Oh. Anyways, you reach the top slash first floor of the of Chang'an and you head out. Or met with this uh, very deserted, crater-filled area. Stretching quite a ways out. In the distance, you think you can make out some kind of a village. You can't exactly tell, however. Well, we will be we'll making our way. The inhabitants. The queen chimes in. Like your world, we will be making our way north to rain. 
Once we get there, we're going to have to find a specific area to teleport back into. And that's where we'll find the eyes tear. If you say so. Can you yeah, tell us anything about that, please? Which direction from rain is it? It's direct, well, in your world, it's directly underneath rain. Uh, so it, would it be above rain here? In here? Yes. Huh. It would be. All right. Guess we'll deal with that when we come to it. She nods. We'll make this quick as we can. Flying and teleporting may not be a good idea in the daytime. And during the nighttime, we can use the deeper darkness to our advantage. I see. Anyway, she can. She uh, she finally begins moving forward, but Kabadoth stops her. He looks around. We are not alone. Immediately as he says this, you see the ground erupting open as dozens of undead begin pouring out of the ground. Oh no. Gross. Are they coming towards us? They are coming towards you. They all seem to have these bulging stomachs with this glowing red energy inside it. I when they don't... open their mouths, you can kind of see the energy coming out from their mouths. Uh, quick, I'm going to cast a large person in Wyoming. Quick. Well, mm -hmm. Right now. Uh, so how co close are they together? each other um some of them are together they're, they're a bit uh scattered around but they are getting closer as they move closer towards you okay. anyways uh initiative oh initiative okay oh don't worry about them exploding. I'll make them all explode. Yeah, they will explode. But if one of our melee attackers, you know, gets a little too close and punches one, and then they all erupt, you know. Yes. Don't worry about. It. Gonna be making some death saves. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> also, there are no death saves. We just die. Wait, where's Wayman's Nice. I'm glad I'm moving before him, at least. So what sort of room are we in right now? You are outside. Uh, outside, the area around you is very desert-like, and there are a ton of craters everywhere. Okay. So, has everyone rolled? Mm -hmm. I believe so. All right. Who got twenty or higher? Uh, me. Twenty-four, and lawful is twenty-eight. Who got fifteen or higher? I got a seventeen. We got a ten or higher. I got ten. I got ten. Oh. 
Well, uh, who has the higher dex mod? Probably Nadine. Alright. Ooh, God, five or higher. I got the five. All right, and now for Zambu. Hmm. Do they seem particularly agile? Or are they more like slow? Well, they are, uh, they are pretty slow. Okay. All right, so let me roll for some. I'm just going to do, you know what, since there's a lot of them, we're going to do Party first, then Zambus. Okay. So how close are the Zambus to each other? So, Some of a lot of them thing. are scattered about, but they're all well within 15 feet of each other. 15 feet of each other? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... Uh, I think I'm gonna make all of them make a reflex save. All right, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna make a a pit that's. Hold on, let me roll this first. All right. Well, a first off, that... okay, it, the spell is running pit. Can I make okay. what? Can you make that pit within a circle? It's a 10 by foot, 10 foot hole. Okay. With uh, 10 feet deep per two levels, so it's 50 feet deep. All right. And then I can, as a move action, direct it to move up to 20 feet, so I can catch all the rest of the zombies. All right, well, like I said, if you can get it in a circle, because they're all kind of surrounding you. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can make no. it move around, so... Wait, surrounding us, but within 15 feet of... Oh, okay. No, feet. So, you're surrounded by zombies, and all of them are scattered in various places. Alright? Yeah. But all the zombies are when, within about 15 feet of each other from where they came out of the ground. Okay. Okay. So how many of the zombies can I get by casting a 10-foot hole and then making it move 20 feet as a move action? You can probably get That's about half of them. You can get about six zombies. Okay. Then they all need to make reflex saves. All right. I just put my dice away. Oh, what's the DC? Uh, it's 24. Well, they ain't going to make it unless they all net 20. Nope. 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 One of them just does a flip into the pit. Oh, so he now won? Not that twenty. Yeah. <laughs> he so, was yeah. like, a pit, holy shit! <laughs> yeah, so they all take... Uh, was that 5d6 for falling 50 feet? Yeah. And then they need to make a DC 
uh, 25 climb check to get out of it. Oh. And climb well. 50 feet upward. <laughs> uh, well. Nice combat. For 12, and the pet lasts for 12 rounds. And well. I can keep moving it. So yes, half the zombies just got swallowed up by a giant pit. Well, all of these zombies are at one health. <laughs> well, nice. And there's no way in hell they're climbing out, so, you know. Probably not. Let's <laughs> Unless see. they have, like, a burrow speed or something like that. Well, they have a climb a climb speed. Oh, they do have a climb speed. Uh, then they don't have to make the DC do that. Do that. I'm not oh, sure. Remember. They can take 10? I believe. Which, would that be 25? Do Probably they, not. They, they, ha they, have a, they have a skill in climb, so... Well, we'll see. Anyways, is that your turn? Uh... Yeah, that's my standard in my movement, so yeah, that's my turn. So I just forgot about Waffle, he was supposed to go first. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. He, so, he Waffle. Held his it's your turn, I guess, now. You still holding your action? Or... Uh... You <laughs> You're throwing rocks in Um. Waffle just refuses to do anything normally. <laughs> just kicks you know rocks what? into the. <laughs> sure, there's a, there's a big, uh. Convenient pit sized stone. Wow. <laughs> nearby. Uh, can you lift that? Probably not. It's just a, a big slab of rock that's there because the DM decided. I mean, it could. Shh. Why not? Make a. It'd probably make be a. It's still one non-lethal damage, so... Well... I would put them at zero. Do Chain Dead have some special rule with non-lethal damage? I forget it. Yes, they take... They are immune to non-lethal damage. No matter how much non-lethal damage they take, they don't take damage. I would say if it's a big enough stone, it would be lethal damage. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Make me... Make me a, uh, a range... Find a stone, make a range attack. All right. Well, you throw, you throw the stone, and you clonk a zombie right in the head. Roll me a uh, a d3 plus strength. All right, well, you uh waffle, you throw a stone in. Uh, shortly thereafter, there's just a chain of, uh, explosions coming from the pit. What kind of stone make me, uh... There? Make me a reflex save, because it's kind of a big explosion. DC, uh, DC 6, DC 17. <laughs> Whatever, fine. Well, you made it anyways. So, you don't get hit by the big ass explosion. Great job. 
Does the explosion cause the chain reaction and all the zombies in there explode? Yeah, all six zombies are the dead. That's that also was your turn. Anyways, Lucas, it's your turn. All right. So apparently these explode. Yep. Apparently, apparently these explode. Hmm. So there goes that uh, strategy. Uh. Hmm. Should I still slap Wyoming with a large person? I hmm. don't think it's going to be necessary okay. nah. since these are just they're they're medium sized, right? Yeah. Yeah. I I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother. Okay. I'm not going to bother with spell slots. I'm just going to run up and attack one. Alright. Uh, oh, uh, my computer is uh, not wanting to connect to Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to try to do it on... I'm, I said I'm just... Oh, come, please. Uh, okay. I guess it won't load on my phone. Oh, oh it's it's good. We're good. I think. Come on. Don't do this now. Okay, 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 we're good. We are good. Okay, so it's you. Can you please just show me the two hit? Show me the two hit. Do it, please. Sorry. Okay. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's true. That's <laughs> fall. Mm -hmm. That certainly is a game. 29 hit. Uh, hello? Yeah, does the 29 hit them? Yes. It's... If we were playing 2E, you would have crit. Alright. Alright. That hits. Fourteen. Alright. On your second slash, you see the light in its stomach beginning to expand and it uh, begins to explode. Make me a reflex save. Gonna check that. It's gonna DC take... seventeen. Please, please don't. No, it's stuck again. Okay, okay. This is fine. But, oh, it's not a plus seventeen, but I made it anyway. That's not the mob, but it's fine. Mod of 12. Well, it's definitely more than that. It's a mod of 12 regularly? Yeah. Alright, well. Cool. You take 4 damage. Oh, okay, that's no issue. Um. Well, the problem is, is that there's 6 of them. That might hurt a little bit. Yeah. Does this hit any other zombie in range? Nope. Okay, then that's my turn. Oh no, they're uh, pain They don't hear each other. Alright. Alright. Nadine, it's your turn. Um, all the zombies are in the pit, right? Uh, six of the zombies were in the pit, but my uh, waffle killed them all. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the there's... zombies that are in the pit are dead now. They've created a big explosion. 
Oh, I'm dumb. I assumed it was like a moat, and like they all fell into like the moat around this. Oh, okay. No, it's not a moat. It's a circular pit. Okay. Um. It just has the ability. Still, like, grouped up together. Or they're not grouped up together. They're scattered. They're scattered. Up. Oh wait, did Waffle end his turn next to the pit? By the way. No, I guess. No, please, he was please. away from it. Good. Because it also makes you make reflex saves if you're adjacent to it when you end your turn. Anyways. Um. I think I'll just take two shots at two zombies that are sort of close to each other. Okay. Make your attacks. That'll hit. And that'll hit. Well, one of them explodes harmlessly, hitting nobody. Uh, but the second one is still standing. Unfortunately. Is that your turn? We're still surrounded on all sides by zombies, right? I think on one well, side now. It's pretty much on one side now. Okay, I'll oh, back yeah. up. To the other side, that's not surrounded by zombies, then. Just jump back up to the pit. Right. That that would be wise, yes. Bao, it's your turn. Uh, so, how many are left? Uh, there five, are five left. Five, I think. I'm going... to use my crossbow with the Bane bolts that I still have. Zombie Bane. Oh. To attack one that hasn't been attacked yet. Okay. Does a twenty nine hit? I'm pretty sure they've only got like yeah. Most yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to actually look up my crossbow's damage because I never use it. Oh man. Oh man. And add a 2d6. Yup. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah, because oh, right, right, right. the handsome bonus is too high. Yeah, that, that's what the plus two on there was to hit. I did just. Yeah. That goes to both hit and damage. Which is kind of nice. Oof. Oof. Alright. Well, it's still standing. <laughs> Don't worry, they're all gonna get swallowed up. <laughs> Roaming pit. Roaming pit. As Lily's just sitting there chanting. Uh, I don't have anything else to do with my turn. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's like almost no way to not make that silly. <laughs> I'll paint that chases people. Alright. Uh, uh why don't we get your turn? Or bolts or whatever? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I will charge one that has not been attacked yet. Alright. <clears throat> Remember that pummeling bully exists. What? Remember it exists. I don't remember. 
bully him while pummeling. Do it. For me. That didn't actually include the charge bonuses, so that's plus four. That'll hit. That'll hit. All right, well, it's still standing at one HP. That'll hit. Okay. All right. It begins to explode. Make a reflex save. And you have evasion, right? No. Oh, you don't have evasion? No. I thought you did. All right, well... I don't think that's a brother thing, is it? It's not. You take four damage. Oh, wow. No. All right, is it your turn? Yeah. All right. Zambu's. All right. So, Wyoming. Yeah. The remaining zombies all begin converging towards you. All right. And as they get... Most of them end their turn next to you, but one that gets all the way close to you, it just kind of uh, lets out a roar and its stomach begins to expand as it explodes. Make a reflex save. <sighs> Zombos do anything? Well, unfortunately, all the other zombies made their save, so there goes the cool thing I was gonna do. Are they all gonna blow up? That was the gimmick. But they all made their saves and took half damage. <laughs> so none of them blew up, except for so like one no, of Only one of them blew up, so. Well, that's, uh. That Zombo turn. So now it's a waffle turn. Or is he gonna wait his turn again and see what the running pit does? <laughs> All right. Lily. Uh, how, how many zombies can the running pit get without sacrificing? Too many allies. I mean, uh, none of the allies. Lily. <laughs> the pit has gone to my <laughs> Just drive it over the other side as straight path as possible and swallows everyone, <laughs> including the zombies. Alright, uh, well, you can get two zombies. Okay. I'm guessing they fail. Well, they have to make a reflex save, right? Yes. 
They have to make a pretty heavy reflex save. They failed. So they take 5d6 damage. Alright. And are stuck in the pit, of course. Of course. Well, they hit their ground and immediately go boom. Well, they go boom 50 feet below, so I don't think it's going to actually yeah. hurt me. You're good. And then, I still have a standard action. <laughs> wow. Alright, what are you going to do? <laughs> Roaming pit! Oh! <laughs> Just makes the entire field of us. <laughs> this is an army now. Just somebody well, walks up and then the nearest bit just swallows them. Obviously, you should you should uh, use the will of the Empress to activate Mad Monkeys. <laughs> uh, you think I didn't prepare Mad Monkeys? <laughs> so, uh, let me do something not stupid. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, um, are any of these guys, how many of these guys are not next to allies? Uh, the last two are right next to Wyoming. Oh, there's only two left, oh, yeah, that's right, there's only two left. Uh, I'm just gonna use Scorching Ray. Okay. I think Wyoming can handle it. <laughs> he can handle it. I'm sure he can. I believe that is high enough that I get out there and drink. Alright, roll your... So those hit touch. All three of those hit. Okay. Well, let's just roll... It's 48, right? Yep. 46. 46. Oh wait, is it? Oh. Yeah, 46. My mistake. Scorching Ray is 46. Okay. So is that enough damage to take out all the zombies? Ah! Uh, well, let's see. Between two rays, one of them goes down. America mm. Reflex Wyoming. Does the third one go down to the third ray? It does not. I mean, that's like a, oh. You get one down with between two rays. All right, you make it. Take two damage. How much Duh. Right the other zombie who survived also takes two damage, oh, which is see. exact damage. And he also blows up. Make another will <laughs> reflex a Wyoming. <laughs> oh, hey! I should do it. Take no damage. Fuck it. All right. Well, well I'm, uh, I'm at double digits. <gasps> Wait, how many oh, explosions gosh. did you get hurt by? Three. Oh, I only counted two. I took ten nope. damage total. There are no more zombies. She just uh. The Queen of Diamonds just gives Kabudath a look. You made a stop for that. I'm actually a little disappointed I used such a strong spell against them. And she starts just pushing the pit back and forth for fun. How long does it last? <laughs> it lasts like a full minute. Well, a minute passes as the Queen of Diamonds just face palming herself into non existence. Just go gather up all the zombies in the pit. Yeah, she does it. Fortunately, there's nothing remaining of the zombies. Gone. Oh. She gathers up the ash. <laughs> We're going to have a proper burial for these zombies. That's easy. The hole fills back in. Yeah, exactly. Let's just continue. She's very getting very annoyed. Try not to look too happy about it, guys. The observer likes can 
manipulate time or whatnot. Surely you can wait a few minutes, can't you? <laughs> she just slowly turns her head back. You know, animal, I'm getting right now. You what? We cut out a little bit. She said, uh, she looked at Nadine and she said, immediately, you know, animal, I'm very thirsty right now. Lude. Do it. You're doing both of us a favor. So I don't have to look at your face anymore. I'm gonna roll bluff check on that. <laughs> What does she have? <laughs> you know. So what's her what's her sense mode? <laughs> that good, huh? What's just uh have a bit of nope here. You know, you might not want to threaten my allies. <sighs> just uh, let's just go. I want to get this done as soon as possible. Feelings mutual. She just continues, uh... She just continues walking. Leaving the rest of you, including Kabadath, behind. Kabadath just kind of quickly tries to follow behind, but she's just like... Not even recognizing he's behind her. All right, so you're following? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after that, you guys make your way to the end of this area. From the deserty cratery area, it slowly becomes more of a uh, more of a marshy area. So that as it as this desert area slowly comes to an end, it starts getting a little plainy, and then you feel a bit, a lot of warm humidity floating through the air. As you get further closer to the village... Wait, warm? Okay. Yeah. It's like a marshy, kind of swampy area. Well, he's going to be a little confused by that, but it's so can keep going. Wait, what? I said, well, he's going to be a little confused by that, but keep going. It's what the else? shadow plane. It doesn't have to make sense. But it's negative energy. Oh, Wyoming is so uncomfortable in places like this. <laughs> Jeez. Well, you're right. Watch out, there might be a shadow alligator. You don't joke about the shadow alligators. <laughs> Anyways, after a couple minutes of leaving the desert area, you finally reach the, uh, the, the village you saw in the distance. You see a few, um... I actually see the guards are 
I can knowledge plans on the guards. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can guess what they are, but got a good roll. They are dashy. Right. These are actually uh, dark elves. Oh, they draw. Yeah. Interesting. And they're just kind of guarding this big wooden entrance. Well, he uh, walks up. Either first or close to it, if. Alright. As you get closer, it's just like the two guards notice you. Halt. State your business here. Mm, passing through. Passing through. Where are you headed down? The north. Mm, the north. Dangerous territory to the north. Not the best place to be traveling to. Danger seems to be common is it not only when you're actively seeking it they look at each other they begin speaking to each other in a language you can't exactly understand are you sure about that <laughs> yeah, I'm sure about that. Are you but, sure they're not speaking in common? Gurp, Tablilu, Infernal, Uncommon, Abyssal, Aclo, Draconic, Celestial, Necrol, ter Terran, Dwarvish, Equine, or, sh or wait, no, I don't have that one. Never mind. Did you know that last one? Yep, you suddenly <laughs> just see them start uh, just slapping their stomachs together, <laughs> looking at each other. Making clicking noises. That's... Clicking noise and just slapping their bodies together. <laughs> so, okay, then. so, so that's what drow, drow sign language looks like. Shoulda, shoulda learned veggie pig me. Shit. <laughs> God. Anyways, after they finish talking. Go and see our elder here. He may be able to help you with what lies in the north. And with that, they uh, open. They open the gate. It kind of lowers down like a bridge, leading inside. Uh, Lily turns back to the party with her shadowy eyes. How beautiful. Do you say anything or just like, hey? Uh, she's just trying to see how they're reacting to this. I'm, I'm readying my linguistics. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm not. Weren't we told unless you want me? Weren't we told unless... we had no allies in this plane? Yes. Did she say that out loud or? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, she. Wait, who was it that told us that again? Oh, the person that brought us. Yeah, he, okay. uh, yeah, I, he I, chimes I... in. He he chimes in saying. No allies, but not everyone is hostile. Uh, 
Yeah, she tends to. You uh... have to do that. How do? What is it? Making friends down here. Well, she tends to the guides. Says, like I said, we're just passing through. Speak to our elder or don't. The quickest way through this is. It would be rather unwise to travel through the marsh. Going in any other direction. Savages lie beyond these trees. They are not to be trifled with, and are very dangerous. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Well, with that, after the bridge is lowered, they go back to their stations. So let's go see an elder. So do you all go in? Should we? Good question. Well, Queen of Diamonds does not seem to be reacting to this. She does not seem to be telling you to not go in. Um, are we talking about the village? Wait, yes. where? Talking about specifically meeting up with the elder, right? Hmm. Well, Cabada didn't say it was a bad idea, so. Lucas can probably gather some information there. Now, can learn about where some of the chitin are and possibly avoiding them entirely. Mm. Well, I would not an agreement then. If things are actually being Yes, I. Lucas says he wants to go and find information. Okay. Mm -hmm. By everybody else. Let's just make sure we don't get surrounded by any dangers while we talk. Fair enough. Are you all head in? Yeah. Alright, well. As you all head in after. Oh, Waffle is fencing you. in this things. Uh, no. You do not see or sense anything on this. Alright. We should have waved at him. That's that's the best way to figure it out. As you head in, so uh... you see in the center of the village is a statue. It seems to be of a male and a female. Hmm. Uh, most most of the villagers seem to be. Uh, not in prayer, more uh, bowing respect to the statue. And this is where we will be ending session. Uh, can I ask one thing? Uh, sure. So she turns to the uh, queen asks, So would it be a good idea to stay the night here? She looks around. It should be acceptable. She nods. I mean, as you, but yeah, as you head in and see this, this is where we will be ending session. Okay. All right. Well, 
We are in the plane of the shadows. Spooky. It is nighttime, right? No, it's still daytime. What? The, uh, by the time you got in here. Huh. But I mean, it is, uh... It is the shadow plane equivalent of daytime, which is dark. But you can see in darkness, so it's fine. Yay. All right, well. So yeah, that was a good session. Pretty good, pretty good. Ryan yeah. still missing. Setting the things up. Ryan is somewhere. I promise. <laughs>